couple things to add to the foam rolling. Make sure that you do get the side of your hips because that's where a lot of the, the tension and the soreness ends up. So you can have your, uh, your side to the foam roller and you're gonna do almost like a side plank, lift your hips up, put your hips down on the foam roller here. Again, you're gonna find that squishy spot. You don't wanna be right on the bones. And then you can just kind of, you know, go a little front to back, a little sawing motion into the muscles on the side of your hips, particularly, because that's where it tends to get gummed up. You can kind of scoot it down, and then you can move into more kind of like a side plank. So be careful, you have to uh, hold your body up here. So you're engaging your abs, your armpit, and you're rolling the dough out on the side of the leg. It's very uh, important that you keep that nice and loose because that is your IT band, the fibrous tissue along the side of your leg, and it can get kind of gummed up and stuck, like it doesn't, it literally doesn't slide right. And when that happens, it can kind of pull on your knee and then you get knee problems. So you wanna make sure that everything is, is able to move very easily along the side of your leg into your thigh there. So, I mean, you can even just take your hand and be like, <laughs> unstick, unstick, like little, it's like little Velcro um, adhesions there. You kind of have to rip it up like you're ripping uh, Velcro up. So it's not Velcroed down any longer. And that'll, that, believe it or not, that can help your knees to stay healthy if this is all moving well. So be sure you get this, the side of your glutes into the side of your legs. Um, and you can use other devices. You could use a softball. That's really uh, a good size to get in there. You could also use the tennis ball. You can even do this um, at the end of your workout, kind of as a cool down, just to be sure that you're not gonna get super duper tight and sore you know, uh, the next day or two. So you can definitely do a quick pass through. Uh, you could even use that quick path pass through in your warm up to be like, ooh, wow, I didn't realize that my hips were so sore and tight. You might not even realize it till you go to foam roll. It can be a way to identify um, particular areas that you need to give a little bit more attention to in the stretching, which is what we're going to focus on next.